Hey guys, this is Pastor Nate here with this week's two minute teaching and um, it's kind of ironic and funny that I'm giving this to you on Facebook and Twitter and I'm posting it on my iPhone and recording it but uh, just thinking this week about how easy it is to be completely distracted and consumed by um, our smartphones, our computers, Facebook, the media, all of those things um, just how, you know, you might have a couple extra minutes sitting there um, in between things that you're doing and the natural response is to open up your phone and check your email, check your Facebook, check your Twitter account, check what's going on in the world, check the news, and we fill up every minute of our day with filling it, our heads with information about what's going on in the world or what our friends are doing or what somebody had for lunch or what, you know, all these different things. We're filling every second. And so the thing is, is that when we do that, we don't leave space for our relationship with God. And when we are filling up every single minute and we're not leaving space for our relationship with God, what happens is we start to lose that relationship. Not that your relationship goes away, but it's really hard to have a relationship with someone when you are never giving any time to them. You're never listening. And um, I really believe that it's important not just to, to spend time studying the word, not just to spend time, dedicated time praying, but even to spend time in stillness, just sitting and listening and allowing God to speak to you. And you know, in Psalm 46, 10, it says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And what does stillness look like to you? Our lives are so busy, bustling around, going crazy, doing all these different things, and we may be running around like crazy, or not, and even if we're not, so often we still fill all of our time with these things that are unimportant. And I know that I'm guilty of it. I know that if I'm sitting down waiting for an appointment, I'll pull out my phone and I'll check my Facebook. And I'll spend five minutes scrolling through what everybody is doing in the world. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing because I'm obviously using Facebook right now. I'm using Twitter or whatever. I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do because you can be encouraged. You can be built up in that way. But you need to leave room for Jesus. You got to leave room for the Lord, allowing him to um, to, to work in your life, allowing him to come and speak to you. And so um, go ahead and do that this week. I challenge you to do that this week. Take, take that next time that you just want to open up your phone when you've got a spare minute, take that time and spend it with Jesus instead. Just sit there in stillness. You don't even have to say anything to him. I challenge you just to be still before, the God, before God, to not even to say anything, but just to sit there and let the Lord work in your heart in that moment. And so I um, hope you have a great day. hope you have a great week. That's our two-minute teaching for this week. So be blessed. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.